check it out transmission cooler line leaks dodge journey there's a pedal right on the top of the transmission same thing as a challenger caravan and some other dodge with a 3.6 or 2.4 All right, guys, look what we have here. Uh, 3.6 Dodge Journey, same thing as the Challenger, Durango Caravan, back in the garage. Uh, problem on this, a guy told me that it's leaking uh, fluid. And uh, I looked down, mentioned it's a transmission cooler line. So on this video, we're gonna be showing you how to remove step-by-step -step the transmission cooler line. So it's below this air box right here. And it's up front of this uh, rad behind the grill. So we don't need to take out this. I'm uh, gonna try to take out this grill and then this upper portion right here. And of course, there's air box for sure, so that we have uh, room to work to take out that transmission color line. So let's get started. Let's go. All right, guys. So first, uh, let's take out this air box flat screwdriver on this hose and another flat screwdriver tools on this right here. This portion will come out and a bolt, 10 millimeter bolt right here. So let's start doing that. All right, make sure pop this hose right here on the side before you take out this cover. Okay, we have to take out this uh, push pin right here. Pop this push pin out. There's probably like four here. One, two, three, four. All right, so this is the the fifth retainers that need to take out. I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to take this down. Take this out. This is a pretty tough one. It's like super tight in here. So I'll just use this two retainer pick. I have a hook right here. Pry it up in the middle and then use the little pick to pry the bottom one this one is kind of easy but this time is tough it was tight in there all right guys so all the retainers are gone uh, i'm gonna pry this uh front grill out hopefully we could pull this out all right so there you go <laughs> we're just gonna have to uh Push the stabs upward while you're trying to pry, peel out this grill. All right, so that's easy. We don't need to take out the, the bumper. So those stabs, it just goes into those holes, slots right here on top of the bumper. So just squeeze them and the whole thing will peel off. All right, so you can see there is our transmission cooler lines and here's the transmission cooler right here. It's a little tiny one. So we're gonna be taking this from here. It's pretty tight in there. All right, let's uh, start taking out the bottom portion of this uh, air box. All right, there's another bolt right here. It looks like a 10 millimeter bolt. We'll have to take out that. There is there's that eight millimeter bolt right here. Same thing with this one. Okay, so that's how you take out this lower portion of the box. All right, guys. So here we go. So after taking that box out, so you see that old transmission cooler line right there, and there's a kind of like a big puddle on top of the transmission right there. Oh yeah, leaks right there. I'm not gonna show you guys where's the leak coming from, but uh, you can see clearly that that hose is covered with oil and dirt. What? This is the vehicle I did the uh, oil pressure sensor. 
on my video if you want to check it out the oil pressure sensor is right there this is the vehicle same vehicle I did I replaced the oil pressure sensor without taking the intake manifold bypass all that hard work but yeah so uh, those are the fitting right here that needs to take out and then uh, this is the hose the the best part on this job is uh, working on this side fish this thing out through here it's a tight fit we'll see how it goes all right guys so uh what's my plan of attack on this uh transmission cooler line says i'm gonna take out one line at a time and then we're gonna fish it out back down here and then loosen that line from the transmission so we're gonna do that one at a time okay so that everything will fit on the hole because i'm not taking out all this other stuff around that's too much time too much work and this should work when i take out one line at a time so let's get started so we're gonna have to take out that bolt right there that holds the bracket to the line uh, what i use is a 10 millimeter with a swivel and the extension so just crack that open and then take out that bolt and then we'll take out the fitting at the end of the line right after all right so next we're gonna slide this cover here slide slide it open just a cover to secure this uh, e-clip right here in the inside is an e-clip right there that holds the line lock in place so, it, so that it won't pop it open so so be careful don't lose that same thing on the bottom there's a e-clip uh, just like the GM they have the same design on GM so be careful don't lose that if, if, if you see this thing start flying around when you're trying to take it out and it and then you don't hear anything landed yeah it's gonna be tough to find the spec saying that you need to get a new one replaced with a new one but this one this is this is okay nothing wrong with this so let's start taking it out definitely need a magnet so you don't want to lose it all right guys so i got a magnet here make sure don't lose it there you go look at that magnet helps lots all right try this bottom one here which way is that thing facing there we go all right there we go it's out guys all right so popping this uh, hose is gonna be a uh, a big mess so uh, get a rag ready shove it underneath all right so we're just gonna clamp the hose and then we'll push it out because it's there's no grip on this on this hose at all there's there's no grip pulling it out so there you go both lines are off the cooler I'll keep that rag down there all right so on the back of the rad uh, inside the engine bay uh, this is super loose it's better to take out that clip just like before on the front same thing there's an e-clip in there we'll pop that off so that this uh, line both line is super loose and we could uh, wiggle it out all right guys so this transmission color line is is, de is detached now it's super loose the clips are gone so we're just gonna have to pop that thing out all right so check this out guys super loose now it's gone it's out of the transmission so now we're gonna have to fish this thing out from the front here see there's a bracket in here that's why it's tough All right guys, so you just need a little bit of twisting and bending, taking this hose out. And there she is guys, still leaking. That's it. <laughs> Look at that. That's how you take out the old transmission cooler line hose. 
without taking the head lump and the front bumper. All right, so from from here and now, uh, just need to put the new one in. We're almost halfway to this fix.